Hey guys, here we are again. Hey, for you new subscribers, I'm Robert, and this is the Vino Rod. So, you guys have seen the last video where I'm working on the shifter console. So I decided to maybe describe where I'm repurposing that shifter console from. Um, and, and we all know that rat rods are repurposing gadgets to put a car together. Well, this is my version of repurposing the shifter console. So what I have here is a transportation fixture for a missile program. And it was on the, probably the Minotaur program. And uh, what they, it, it, this little center section had, you know, a piece like this in it, which, you know, I butchered it up to make this console. And um, so it has this, this little radius. So what they did is this is a raceway cable tray for transport, for transporting. This is for stage, uh, stage two. So I got this fixture. I had it setting up there for a while. I started doing my shifter setup and then I started thinking about, you know, to make a console and I'm thinking and I light comes on, I look up there and I said, okay, I'm gonna build it out of this fixture here. So you can see where I, I took this piece put a 90 degree bend on it so I can put some gauges there. And so this is, you know, what it looked like before I started cutting it up, which, you know, it's just a nice, it's aluminum, it's anodized. It's got a lot of neat hardware on it. These thumb screws. So, you know, you saw where I split that piece off bend this up, get remove these items here, these ears, and then bent this up in a 90 degree. So this is, this will eventually get the shifter, you know, I'll, I'll cut a hole here and the shifter arm will stick through here. So, so let me, oh, and, and speaking of the space program, just to let you know that if any of you guys are interested, space flight now, Will you get on the internet? Space Flight Now will let you know of any upcoming and future missile launches anywhere in the world. So. All right, you can see the cutout right there for the uh, emergency brake. And then naturally, you know, this fella will slide over there and screw down. And I got to pivot it pivoted out of the way right now so I can. I can put this plate in place. So, and I've got the cutout right there. So, I want to get this, you know, put together solid so I can anchor it down into the car. And that'll allow me to move on to the next step of lining up where that shifter arm is going to go with this cover piece. So, you know, I'm going to be putting in that. So I've got to get me a template made so I can figure out how to cut this out. All right. So uh, let me get that piece of aluminum cut out and then get some of these things tapped and some screws in it. And we'll see what happens. Take your paper and start making me Every step is major Try to be focusing And of course she hurts Every fault you
I'm a paper fly Wings are throwing me across the sky So we're inside and see that I've got the shifter arm in place. And you can see that uh, it's got a pretty good, you know, it matches up with the tunnel pretty dang close. I mean, for what I've, for what I've got, I like it. This is where I spliced it together. You can see the. 1032 screws you know like I said I split it here and added this piece in here and then you can see where the cutout is for the e-brake you you can see too how how well it fits with that tunnel Yeah, it's got a sticker on the side there I'm going to leave just because it says what it is. You now it's got part numbers on it. It's got these captured, hey, there you go. It's got these captured thumb screws, which is kind of, you know, I just like the fact that I can try to keep it as close as I can to, you know, the way that I got it. But yeah, I'm real happy with the way that it's setting in here. I'm going to end up having to, to probably leave, you know, this arm. I've got a, a Himes there, guys, that it's, it's allowing me, see how I, you know, I'm banging things if I, if I have it too vertical. So I'm going to have to, when I mount it, I'm going to have to leave it in this, some sort of an angle here. So when I go, you know, and then I'll have to turn it. See, I'm hitting, I'm hitting windshield right there. So, you know, I'll have to turn, turn it a touch to, to be solid, solidly in park. And then I'll be able to. So, you know, that cutout for that piece that I've got to add, you know, I'm going to have to be right on the money. So, okay, so I'm going to get to uh, mounting this thing in that solid position, and then I'm going to take me some measurements on the location of that cover, and then I'll be able to, to you know, get an idea where that arm is going to be located on that cover, and I'll be able to trace the line out for that arm. Okay. All right. So I'm going to move on to that part and I'll bring you guys back when I'm got my friggin' cipher and pencil out. All right. I've got some reference lines here. I made up after getting this thing mounted where I want it. So I've got some tape there, and some tape there, and some tape there, and some tape there. So what I'll end up doing is uh, taking that shifter arm off and then uh, setting my uh, cover on, and then I'll be able to make some marks on my cover. All right, let me get that taken care of, and we'll bring you back. All right, so I've got the cover installed. And I added that reference line right there. So what I'm looking at is that 
start of that pencil line, that was where I'll start with my hole. To there, and to there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to uh, do a little bit more thinking and make sure before I actually sacrifice this piece. So I'm gonna make sure that all my measurements are correct and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call this one today, guys. So, hey, thanks for watching. Hit that freaking thumbs up button. And I appreciate you new subscribers. So uh, I'll be back in a couple of days. Well, more like a week. I'll be back in about a week with this uh, cover cut and that shifter arm in place. So till then, you guys have a good one.